In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on February 24, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best bet single picks, best bet parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Knicks vs. Washington Wizards On Friday evening, the New York Knicks travel to Capital One Arena for a road matchup with the Washington Wizards. The Knicks are sixth in a hotly contested Eastern Conference. The Wizards are 28-30 in the eighth seed, a half game ahead of the Toronto Raptors. Looking at the betting trends, the Knicks are 29-11 against the spread in their last 40 road games, 1-4-1 against the spread in their last six games against a team with a losing record, and 4-1-1 against the spread in their last six games overall. The Wizards are 5-1-1 to one to one against the spread in their last seven home games against a team with a winning road record and 4-1 to one against the spread in their last five games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the under is 6-1-1 to one to one in the last eight meetings in Washington and the Knicks are 5-1 to one against the spread in the last six meetings in Washington. The Knicks could be shorthanded once again as Evan Fournier and Mitchell Robinson are both questionable, while the Wizards are keeping an eye on Bradley Beal who is questionable. New York won its last three games before the All-Star break and the addition of Wayne Josh Hart via trade is looking like a stroke of genius. The knock on Hart in Portland is that he would not take the shots he was supposed to. In New York, he has nearly doubled his scoring and fits in well with the core that was already present. The Knicks are still waiting for the return to health of big man Mitchell Robinson, but other than that, they should be a tough out down the stretch. Washington had been playing better heading into the break too, winning four of five. The Wizards are pretty healthy as well, even though they are tinkering with who to surround their core trio of Bradley Beal, Kyle Kuzma, and Chris Tapps Porzingis. According to the numbers, this team is pretty mediocre, which feels spot on. Right now, the Wiz are in the ninth spot in the East, but there is room to move up or down and out of the playoff picture if they really struggle. This is a funny spot, as all teams are well-rested right now, so there is no advantage in that department. Still, I was surprised that Washington was made a favorite at home. The Wizards' home numbers are nothing special, while New York has been one of the better road teams in the NBA this season. As road underdogs, the Knicks are winning half of the time and covering even more than that. They are the better team here. So the New York Knicks to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Knicks are 27th in pace entering this key Eastern Conference showdown with the Wizards. Both clubs are neck and neck in the standings, and these games will play a big role down the stretch with respect to tiebreakers. They are each in the middle of the pack defensively, but I expect this to be a low-scoring game considering the magnitude and familiarity with one another. The total number has gone under in 4 of 6 for Washington, and 12 of their last 17 against the Knicks. The total is set a bit higher than you would expect considering neither team has averaged more than 111 points points per game in their last 10. This will be a low-scoring, tightly played game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Cavaliers vs. Atlanta Hawks The Atlanta Hawks look to finish the season strong as they host the Cleveland Cavaliers on Friday. The Hawks are 29-30 on the season, 8th in the Eastern Conference, while the Cavaliers are 4th in the Conference. Cleveland beat Atlanta 114-102 at home back in November. Looking at the betting trends, the Cavaliers are 6-1 against the spread in their last 7 games against a team with a losing record and 6-2 against the spread in their last 8 games overall. The Hawks are 9-4 against the spread spread in their last 13 Friday games and 0-5 against the spread in their last 5 games playing on 3 or more days rest. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 31-15 in the last 46 meetings overall. The Cavaliers could be shorthanded again with Ricky Rubio listed as questionable, while the Hawks are keeping an eye on John Collins who is currently listed as out. The Cavaliers are playing their second game of a back-to-back -back set which is always a challenge, but they are clearly the hotter team at the moment and they are 6-1 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a losing record. This should be a close one, but in the end I have the Cavaliers getting the victory on the road, so the Cleveland Cavaliers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. 
The Cavaliers are in action Thursday night in their first action since the All-Star break, a home matchup against the West leading Denver Nuggets. They are last in the NBA with respect to pace of play, and considering they are on the second leg of a back-to-back, -back, may opt to sit either Darius Garland or Donovan Mitchell. Although this is the second game back, neither may sit, but it remains to be seen what Coach JB by Kerstaff opts to do. This is an important game for Atlanta, and they need to set the tone if they want to make the postseason. I expect them to crank up the pace here. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Heat vs. Milwaukee Bucks The Miami Heat head to Milwaukee to play the Bucks on Friday. Miami entered the All-Star break coming off a loss to the Brooklyn Nets. Milwaukee, meanwhile, beat the Chicago Bulls to continue their win streak before the All-Star break. Looking at the betting trends, the Heat are 2-5 against the spread in their last seven road games, 0-4 against the spread in their last four games against a team with a winning record, and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The Bucks are 5-1 against the spread in their last last six games following a win and 5-1 to one against the spread in their last six games overall. Head-to-head, -head, the over is 4-0 to zero in the last four meetings in Milwaukee and the Heat are 4-1 to one against the spread in the last five meetings overall. The Bucks are getting Middleton and Crowder back which is big for their defense as well as their offense. While even if Antetokounmpo doesn't play, we have seen Milwaukee's offense roll without their star player. Meanwhile, the Bucks defense should have a ton of success against this Heat offense which has struggled this season. The length of Milwaukee will pose some big problems for Miami's offense. Milwaukee and Miami are both dealing with some key injuries, but I do like the Bucks to extend their win streak here. So the Milwaukee Bucks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Bucks are 11th in the NBA in pace, but they could be without their leading scorer in this game. Although the Bucks still have a lot of scoring firepower, they will be facing a Miami team that is just 28th in pace. The Heat are also second in the NBA in road defensive efficiency, while the Bucks are the sixth best home team in defensive efficiency. Both teams' defenses should be the focal point of this game, especially with Russ likely playing a factor early on with some missed shots. The Heat are 32 to 27 in hitting the under this season, while Milwaukee is 30 to 28. Meanwhile, Miami is playing at a pace of 98.8 which ranks 28th while their offensive efficiency ranks 26th but their defensive efficiency ranks 4th. The Bucks, meanwhile, play at a pace of 102.4 which ranks 11th while their defensive efficiency ranks 3rd. Finally, in Miami's last 5 games, the games are averaging 214 points per game while Milwaukee's last 5 games are averaging 230 points per game but that includes a 131-125 to overtime win. With both teams looking for a win in a playoff atmosphere on ESPN but also an extended layoff, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.